Uh, Zach McFarlane, Pro Staff at Teacher Worms. I just want to let you know that there's nothing else I can tell you. You know, it's a haul. Flipping three eighths, Dave's turning jig with a teacher trailer. That's what I'm talking about. You know, most you know most people you know match the trailer, but I don't do that. You know, I do use a more natural, natural color for my trailer with some chartreuse flakes. But if you want a teacher's trailer, you go to www.teacherworms.com and holler at Steve. He'll get you straight. Jordan Lake, let's get this money. All right. Uh, hey, how you doing? This is Zach McFarland, pro staff at Teacher Worms, and um, just getting back from a tournament, finished second place, so that was a blessing. Um, just want to kind of go over some of my um, go-to baits when I'm out there on the water. Um, you know, every angler is always looking for the, you know, the edge. What's going to give them the edge over the competition? And you know, for me, I found that edge, and it's, you know, I must say, I put my trust in Teacher Worms custom-made soft plastics. Um, you know, today. You know, it was the jig, you know, but I really feel like that what set it apart from any other jig was the teacher trailer. And, you know, I simply just use a, a two and three quarters uh, teacher trailer um, in brown 450 with chartreuse flakes. Um, this is actually a um, Dave's Turney um, jig in tequila color, three eighths. And, you know, like I said in other videos before, a lot of people match, match their um, skirt to their trailer, but. You know, with me, I've never had much luck catching fish like that, so I always try to keep it to a natural color and give a more natural presentation. You know, it's already, you know, bad enough that you may have a pink or a purple in there on your skirt. You know, I don't really think the bass, in my mind, the bass is not going to eat a purple crawl, crawl trails or claws, you know. So, um, this is a 3 8 jig, and what I do is I just thread it. I thread it down the chunk, like so. And then when I get to the rattle, this is very key. I lift the rattle up and I slide my trailer all the way up to make sure that it's snug and in place. And you know, this is what, you know, this was the key today. You know, I um, flipped some uh, buck brush and things like that and, you know, it came out okay for me and I didn't come out on top, but <laughs> pretty close. Um, some other teacher products and things like that I use would be um, the Teacher Bug. It's a four-inch uh, creature bait, you know, from their creature line that Teacher Worms offers. Um, you know, it's good for flipping um, Carolina rigs. Um, you know, even Biffle hardheads. If you like to use Biffle hardhead football uh, jig heads, um, I use those from time to time. But you know, a Teacher Bug has tentacles on the side to displace water and um, you know great action out of the claws you know when it's in that water the claws stick up in a defense posture like crawfish do so it's a great bait to use and um, also we have the um, pincher crawl I really didn't use this too much today but I've had excellent 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 results from the pincher crawl and this is in a kudzu and a sparkling crystal it's actually a five and a half inch pincher crawl and man it's for flipping or Carolina rig, but I use it for flipping, um, you know, mostly. But man, it's a great, great, great color to use it in. Um, now, the teacher stick, I wanted to talk about that uh, quite a bit. Um, actually, you know, with the teacher stick, people like try to compare it to other baits that's on the market and things like that. But here at Teacher Worms, you know, it's your color, your scent, your way. So, you know, I, I, you can't compare it to anything else, you know. You know, how can you compare uh, a stick, a teacher stick, compared to another bait at your lake you know you might know the color that's prominent or you know that works well at your lake you know so you know what to put in it and the type of flakes and the amount of salt you want so you know you can't just go out there and buy it from the store with the right you know the right amount that you want in it so you know I think Teacher's Worm has really taken over the industry with the overall custom this is truly custom lures at its best um, also, I have some teacher frogs here. I'm not going to go over that too much. You know, it's a soft plastic top water frog. Really, I didn't use that at all today, but it's actually an excellent um, lure. Um, also, I use the teacher swimmer some um, somewhat as well, and that's a 5 inch, and this is in sweet potato. You know, I, I like to use really loud and bright colors with my swim baits because you're more so getting a reaction bite more so than a, you know, a a hunger bite or a feeding bite that most people call it but so I like to have a really loud and bright color and match it with an even brighter um, flake as well and I use a 3 8 uh, screw lock weighted hook and um, I'll just rig it for you you know I take the screw lock through the head twist it on like so really want to 
drive that hook through there. Like that, and man, I cast this thing out there, and I, I count it down, and I start to retrieve. I give it some jerks and things like that, and I've, I've caught some hogs off the teacher swimmer and sweet potato. Also, now um, January 29th, I had a tournament down in Lake Norman, and man, the water was cold, and it was a tough, 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 tough lake to fish. You know, um, it's more Lake Norman is more so quantity than quality. And when times where it's like that and times it's fishing pressure and it's, the weather is just the worst, I always, always, always make sure that I have a teacher finesse worm in my boat, you know. Um, I use it on the shaky head, you can use it Texas rig, rack, wacky style, whatever you like to use, but, you know, shaky head for me is the key. And I have this in red shad with copper flakes. And man, I mean, when they're not biting anything, they're biting this. So, you know, it's, it's the best bait. Um, also, you know, I just talked some more about the um, teacher uh, trailer crawl that I used today, you know, because it caught me the most, my most fish today. Um, I really, really wanted a crawl that's not going to stick together the tentacles, it's really going to displace a lot of water, and really be in a diagonal angle as it's floating up in that defense posture. Oh, you guys did. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Good job, man. Thank you, thank you. Well, he did all the, he did all the work this time. <laughs> all right, thank you. You're just a show. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, good job, Zach. Thank you, thank you. Yeah.